I stand up today for racial unity. This is my choice. I chose to convey my thoughts through the power of my voice. To those who sit and silently watch the hatred in our society, I urge you now to take a stand, shake off that anxiety. I stand here defiant against racial adversity and ask you to join me, support cultural diversity. Racism cuts deep with our conscience. We are all affected by its corrosive impact and nothing will change until we fully accept diversity. Today, I appeal to each individual. Solidarity is critical in our quest for racial unity. But before we move forward, we should take a look back. For it's our own heroes past and present who embody the true meaning of courage and unity. Kate Shepard was motivated by humanitarian principles when guiding civic freedom for women. Dane Fina Cooper marched courageously, uniting people for cultural freedom and rights. And personally, and more recently, Paul Wilson Tamatia of Palmerston North Boys High School, one strength of an entire school united in Hakka. And in July 2015, 1,800 students performed a riveting haka as one as we sadly bid farewell to the man himself. United, we found strength. Ki te kotahi te kākoho ka whati, ki te kāpuie e kore e whati. Alone, we can be broken. Standing together, we are invincible. We live in a cosmopolitan society and indulge in tantalising cuisine, mystical melodies and dramatic dance forms from around the world. And from a young age we are taught the principles of partnership, protection and participation. Patriotism runs deep and we swell with pride when we hear the spine tingling all black hunter or a bilingual rendition of the national anthem echoing around the world. But can we really proudly stand hand on heart when we recite the words? God of nations, at thy feet, in the bonds of love we meet. Many New Zealanders have shown compassion by opening their homes to thousands of refugees seeking asylum. But it would be arrogant of us to assume we are an open-hearted nation when only last year a professional Fiji rug Fijian rugby player left the field in tears after being racially taunted and verbally abused by a New Zealand spectator. Hear our voices, we entreat. Nobel Prize winner Malala Yousafzai, shot by the Taliban for standing up for education, stated, When the whole world becomes silent, one voice becomes powerful. If a friend made a racist joke, would you laugh? A Muslim woman is insulted in the middle of town. Would you pretend you didn't hear? An overweight student is bullied at school. How would you react? Have we become so concerned with social acceptance and peer support that we don't have the courage to oppose arrogance or disapprove of our peers? In the words of Albert Einstein, this world will not be destroyed by those who do evil but by those who watch and don't do anything about it. On a daily basis, we see all demographics of media ignite the fires of racism in their quest for titillation. The effects have been damaging. 
1.6 billion Muslims now live in fear as they are all blamed for the atrocities of ISIS. Moral courage is the solution to rise above the apathy, complacency and hatred in our society. Moral courage is attainable by simply listening to your conscience and acting on it. God defend our free land. It's not just the flag, haka or national anthem that we pledge our allegiance to, but what they represent. Equality, unity and freedom. As New Zealanders, we are humble about our na national symbols, but perhaps it is time we look at them as a way of refurbishing our civic culture. Men of every creed and race, gather here before thy face. The best pathway forward is accepting that we are all equal because we are all different. We are all the same in that we will never be the same. We are all connected to this earth by the same force of gravity. But most importantly, we all share this country, Aotearoa. Let our cause be just and right. God defend New Zealand. Will we be remembered as the generation of Waisabi millennials or those who took a staunch pursuit in racial unity? The choice is now ours. A drop in the ocean, one leaf on a tree. I am you. You are me. United we will rise. Divided we will fall, together we march, <clears throat> alone you will crawl. I stand up today for racial unity. This is my choice. I chose to convey my thoughts through the power of my voice. <laughs> Tina. 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 Tina.